Man 23 here, and today we're going to do a little set review of my Lone Ranger Constitution Train Chase Set. This set is a pretty cool set. So let's get right to it. First of all, let me show you the box back here. It's 699 pieces, set 79111. It's the Constitution Train Chase from the Lone Ranger set. Now, the Lone Ranger movie was kind of a flop. I didn't even watch it. I didn't watch Lone Ranger too much as a kid either, but it's a pretty cool show. I mean, everybody knows the Lone Ranger, hi -ho Silver in a way. Everybody knows Tonto, but beyond that, I couldn't tell you much about the series or the Lone Ranger himself. So let's take a look at this set because it is a really cool train. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the minifigures. Now, with this set, you get... You get the locomotive, obviously. You get three train cars, one of them being the the steam car, or the coal car, I should say. And you get a lot of minifigs in this set. You get seven in total. Seven minifigs, and you get the horse. So that alone makes this a great set. I mean, you get seven licensed minifigures with this set. So the first one you get is obviously Lone Ranger, complete with his six shooters. Riding silver, high ho silver in a way. Uh, this horse doesn't have movable legs or anything. It's just a white horse with a basic saddle. It's got the clips on both sides. Um, you put his revolvers in there. Lone Ranger doesn't have any back facial printing. It's a pretty cool fig. And then you get these six. So you get Tonto with his raven on top of his head. You get Danny Reed complete with his slingshot. You get Rebecca Reed, who I suppose is Danny's mother. You get Butch Cavendish, complete with his six shooters. You get Latham Cole, Latham Cole. He's got a shotgun. And you get the cavalry, Captain J. Fuller. Fuller. He's got his sword right here on his hip. If we take a look at the back of these guys, you'll see the just like the Lone Ranger. Latham Cole doesn't have any bag printing, but all these other guys, their hair, their hair covers their, let's see if I can get all these hair, heads off. Every one of them that has back, whew, cut her in half. Must be a magician nearby. So you see there's the back printing for all of the minifig heads. Some pretty cool figs, some pretty cool facial expressions. So that's it on those guys. So let's take a look at the train. Here's the instruction booklet. You get two of them. You get book one and book two. Um, that, I think all the bags were numbered, so you just follow along like most of the easy sets. You open the bag, it tells you what's in it. When you get to the end of that bag, you start with the next bag. So you get two instruction booklets with this set, and then you get the locomotive. Now this is a really, really nice steam engine locomotive. It's got the TCRR uh, tile right there. That is a printed tile. Nope, that's a sticker. That was a stickered piece. And I suppose that means the Constitution Railroad, maybe. But this is a really nice. You got this dark green. What is that? Olive green, maybe. It's got this independent front end so it can go around the track, which you actually did get track with this set. You got 16 curves and you got four straights so you can make a complete oval so you didn't get power functions with this set but you did get track to run it on and this train does is compatible with lego tracks so if we look at the back end right here that's where the conductor would be this side this side is exactly like the other side you got the little steam the little bell right there you got the steam exhaust on the front nice front of this one coming down the tracks whatever this thing is called. I mean, this is just a really sharp looking engine or a locomotive. So if you got a steam engine locomotive, you got to have a coal car. So you get the coal car with this one, obviously, and you get two shovels on it. I've knocked it off, knocked one of these off. You got to have shovels so you can shovel the coal into the furnace that runs the steam locomotive. And this thing, the only thing this thing does is the hat, you can pop the hatch and it's supposed to be full of coal, but I guess if you wanted to hide in there, you could hide something in there. Can't get it open. 
So there's another sticker tile right there. That's the Constitution, because this is the Constitution train, ex uh, Constitution Express train. So as you can see, that's the that right there is the locomotive in the coal car. Looks really sharp. So let's take a look at the rest of two it. more cars with this train. You get the Gunner car, which you can see has a has a box right there full of his his uh, jewels. I guess that would be his silver. He just blew up a silver mine, probably. A couple silver bars, a couple silver. He's got a bottle on there because I guess he's a Wano. But this thing is pretty cool because the, the gun actually goes 360, wherever you want to put it. And then it's got this play feature. Turn it this way. Where when you, you can crank the handle, just like a Gatlin gun, pretty cool feature on this one so that not much to it but it is a very cool gunner car and I, like I said that's supposed to be a Gatlin gun I would suppose it's got but uh, that's actually binoculars right there and a barrel to make up the cannon for the for the gun pretty cool feature so you get that one and then you get the jail car so here's the jail car and when you slide it you slide the doors open you can see there's a there's actually a jail right there and I will tell you this the door frame right here is one of the first pieces of Lego that I've from a Lego set that I bought that I had to get replaced. My door frame was warped. So I just wrote Lego, went online, shot them a little email or however you do it, and about two weeks later that a, a replacement door frame showed up in the mail. I mean Lego has great customer service. So this has a good play feature because you put the the dynamite on the back wall and then you can bust them out and you see it's got how many counting the days how many days he's been stuck in jail that'd be a long time to be on a jail car it's a long train ride so we'll get this back in place it's a pretty cool car not a lot to this one either I mean if you look at it on the track it doesn't look like it like a lot it has a pretty good play feature on it so those two go in line nicely so we'll put those in line with the rest of the train and we'll complete this so that's what it looks like always knocking stuff off so that's what this train looks like now you get a couple more things with this let me t let me show you what they are feature and it doesn't look like much it would just sit on side the tracks and set the dynamite and blow the rock up and that's I guess that would be to put that on the tracks and derail the train by blowing up the rock I mean, it's nothing fancy. Just blow the hole. And it's a nice little play feature. It gives you something else to do. It attaches to the track. And then you get the water tower. So here's the water tower. Now the water tower is very cool. You get this old dry bush. I guess that's a tumbleweed before it breaks loose. And, and you get the dynamite, of course. You get the, the water tower on top. And then this sets up next to the track set the dynamite and then it's got a little pivot here and when you when it blows it would fall onto the track blocking the tracks and then inside of here is some one by one round tiles to simulate water it's a pretty cool little build not a lot to it but it is pretty cool so we'll get this back together now like I said this train is really neat but it doesn't come with any power function so I'm gonna put it on the track and I'm gonna show you what I did alright guys so I got it set up on the track I've got the 16 pieces of curve and 8 pieces of straight track just like you would get if you bought the set I've actually got a couple different tracks in here but you get the point this does come with track it does run on the track it's it goes with all Lego track the only problem is you get no power functions so what a lot of people do is they rebuild the coal car right here and they put the battery in the coal car and then they make a little bit of an adjustment and they put the receiver right here in the engine and then they run the wire right there connecting the two cars and that's all fine and great except for that power functions is set up on this train and this train only so what I did was let me show you I built this coach car. Now this coach car is 
kind of from the design of uh, this coach car is set up from the design of uh, I got it from 4534 which is my own train this car is actually it comes with a blue one there's actually I can't remember the number of the green one but I basically built the same thing and I just changed it just enough so I can hide the battery pack in there put the receiver in there and then I can connect this to any train I want to and it can push the load so I know the green doesn't match but it I think it does it pretty good I mean the style the style matches the train so so here it is going around the track and if you want to see that car I will put a link to that video As you can see this train does good on the track the locomotive with that independent front end goes around really nice it looks real good on it so overall this is my review of 79111 the Constitution train chest train chase I gotta tell you guys I really like this set like I said you get 699 pieces it comes with the locomotive the coal car a gunner car and a jail car I really like this set guys uh, you might still be able to find it it's retired now but it's probably off the shelves you can still pick it up for not much more over retail if you look around and get a decent deal on it so that's it for this one guys tell me what you think leave me some comments please like the video please subscribe if you haven't already you can check out all of my playlists and check out all of my reviews check out all my train videos check out my bricklink store at Mardi Gras Bricks follow me on Instagram at Mardi Gras Man 23 and until next time guys we'll see you later